Curious about what Waikiki looks like right now? As part of our Waikiki Now series, we're showing you what Waikiki looks like right now. For more Hawaii videos, make sure you're subscribed and click that notification bell so you're alerted every time we post a new video. In today's video, we are taking a narrated walking tour of Waikiki. It is a Friday morning at about 8.30. We're doing a quick intro here because there is construction going on beside me as well as the leaf blowers, which you can hear in the background. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're gonna walk all the way down Kalakawa Avenue. We're gonna point out a few highlights along the way. And then after that, we're gonna take you on a narrated walking tour of Kuhio Avenue, which is the street that's parallel to Kalakawa. Avenue. All right, let's get into it. And we have our Nike Run app on to show you guys how far we're going. All right, let's go. So this main street is Kalakawa Avenue and we're at the intersection of Kalakawa Avenue and Saratoga Road. It is so incredibly noisy. I hope you guys can hear this. <laughs> and if you can see in the video, it is raining a little bit, um, a little bit of a drizzle. It is early March at the time of this filming. Pretty sure it'll clear up later on the day, but if it does take a sudden downpour, we will have to pause the video shortly. And for those of you that are curious about it, it is, let me take a look at the temperature. One moment. All right, right now it is 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Feels like 77 degrees. It says precipitation is 0%, which is clearly untrue. Humidity is 65%. Wind is at 21 miles per hour. All right. And then over here on the right hand side is the Bank of Hawaii building. And then over on the far right is the Hard Rock Cafe. And there's a few smaller restaurants and shops on the ground level as well. On the left hand side over here, there's a lot of smaller shops. There's a Oakley, a Beachwear Fashion, um, and there's Prada on the left hand side as well. It is so hard to film this when it's just raining. And it's a little cold too. <laughs> it's not cold, cold rain, but the rain is drizzling and it is a little bit windy, so it's a little bit chilly. Oh no, okay, this is gonna work. Okay, change of plans. We stopped about a block or two ago because it started raining and we've only been going for about five minutes and 11 seconds and it has stopped raining. So we're actually gonna continue on with the walking tour. The intersection we're at right now is the intersection of Kalakaua Avenue and Royal Hawaiian Avenue. If you go down Royal Hawaiian Avenue, that's where the Sheraton Waikiki and the Royal Hawaiian Shopping Center is. And then on the left hand side over here, we've got the Victoria's Secret, Buho's, which is a really yummy Mexican restaurant on the rooftop, Tanaka of Tokyo, really tasty as well. There's a Sephora, Honolulu Cookie Company, and then Sticks. Sticks is kind of like um, a lot of smaller restaurants all within one area, kind of like a food court, but a little bit nicer. And it's on the um, basement level of this shopping complex. And then right now there's a lot of signage up for the Honolulu Festival. I hope even filming this small narrated walking tour shows you guys how very drastically <laughs> the rain can change within five minutes. It was raining, it wasn't raining when we started, light drizzle, rain, dumping, and it stopped five minutes later. <laughs> so this intersection is the intersection of Kalakawa Avenue and Seaside. This is typically where any of the block festivals or block parties, they'll usually start at this main intersection. And then on the right hand side is the Royal Hawaiian Shopping Center. And there's the Island Vintage Coffee Shop on the second floor. And just as another point of reference, at this intersection is also the H&M Clothing Store. And then we'll take a look over at this map to kind of show you guys where we're going to be walking today. Let's take a look. So we are located just here. And this whole strip of Kalakaua Avenue. So we started walking right about here. We walked a little bit and then it started raining and then we stopped. And then we walked a little bit farther so we're just here. We're going to walk all the way up this way 
And this intersection is the intersection of Kalakaua Avenue and Kapukulu Avenue, kind of where the zoo is. So the zoo's over here. So on our left hand side over here is the Sky Waikiki. There used to be a restaurant here called Top of Waikiki, but now um, unfortunately they shut down. But Sky Waikiki has some really good um, cocktails, mocktails, really good food as well. And it is a rooftop restaurant. On the right hand side over here used to be the Apple store. They have shut down. Unfortunately, there is one at the Alamana shopping center. And then on the left hand side of here, we have a few other shops. There's an ABC store, which is almost on every single block, but there's also a Rip Curl, a Foot Locker, California Pizza Kitchen, and then a few other hotels as well. So this area at, on the left hand side is Duke's Marketplace. So this area later on in the day, and it started raining again, oh no. Um, this area is Duke's Marketplace, so usually around 10 o'clock or so these vendors will open up and that's where you can buy some Hawaii souvenirs and other items too. This is the Waikiki Beachcomber by Outrigger and they have a restaurant at the bottom called The Gallery. Um, in the evenings on Fridays and Saturdays it also becomes kind of like a nightclub and they'll have live music or DJs. So if you can see in the video it has started drizzling again, nothing too crazy. On the right hand side we've got the Cheesecake Factory. And right now it is still pretty early in the morning, around 8.30, 8.45. A lot of these shops don't open till later, till about 9, 10 o'clock or so. And then on the right hand side, we also have a few hotels. So the one directly to our right is the Outrigger Waikiki Beach Resort. That is the hotel that Duke's restaurant is in and Hula Grill is in. There's also a really cool cafe on the ground level called Sunrise Shack. And then the hotel right beside it is the Moana Surf Rider. On the left hand side that's connected to the Beachcomber Hotel is the Maui Brewing Company restaurant, really good for burgers, casual open air dining, and then coming up here on the left hand side is the International Marketplace. And if you can tell in the video, it has now stopped raining again. <laughs> oh man. And then let's check our distance. So only about 11 minutes and 52 seconds has passed since we've started the video. And just as I said that, it is now raining again. <laughs> so we're at the International Marketplace. And then there's also a Tesla store over here. And then that's the Outrigger Waikiki that also has the Blue Note, the Blue Note as well inside there on the ground level. Or excuse me, on the first floor. Oh no. <laughs> We're gonna take a quick pause here in the video and stay tuned. All right, we're gonna go ahead and resume our walking tour. Still a little bit overcast, a little bit of drizzle, but not enough to where we can stop our tour. We debated on actually doing a completely different video, but I think it's a good idea to show you these kinds of videos, how the weather can vary. I think a lot of people see videos of Hawaii and they assume it's sunny skies all the time and they get here and they're really disappointed when they see overcast skies or rain, but we have a lot of green foliage and it's obviously green because it rains a lot. Typically February is our rainiest month, that is only March, but as you can see throughout the video there's a little bit of drizzle, the rain will stop literally within 10 minutes and come back again later on. So on our right hand side these two buildings over here are the Hyatt Regency and we've done a full walking tour of that specific property. Not to be confused with the Hyatt Centric, which is a completely different property. The Hyatt Centric is a smaller Hyatt and there's also the Hyatt Place. So there's three Hyatts total within Waikiki. And then over here on the right hand side is the Moana Surf Rider. They have a couple of restaurants in there. The beach bar is a really popular one. There's also Beach House if you want more fine dining. And then over here is the Sheraton Princess. This entire property here, we've done a walking tour of that. If you're looking for a oceanfront Sheraton, oh, that's okay, thank you. Um, if you're looking for an oceanfront property, the Sheraton Waikiki is the larger Sheraton property that is oceanfront and has the infinity pool. And the, oh, we'll take a look at this map here. So we had started, let's see, right about here at the beginning of the walk. Walked a little bit, it started raining, we stopped, walked a little bit farther. And then we are, oh, just here, Moana Surf Rider. So Moana Surf Rider is directly in front of us. 
We'll walk a little bit farther down towards the zoo area by the Park Shore Hotel. And then throughout the Waikiki area, they do have a lot of these maps. You can always take a look to see where you're at. Another few stores here. And then they also have the Urban Outfitters on the ground floor of the Hyatt Regency. And this intersection is the intersection of Kalakaua Avenue and Kailani Avenue. So typically whenever they have those block festivals or block parties, they'll start farther down at the intersection of Kalakaua and Seaside Avenue. Sometimes they'll stop here, sometimes they'll go a little bit further to Ulu New Street. Um, it just depends on the specific block festival. Some of the larger block festivals or parties will also have stages for music. Um, typically they'll have stages throughout the entire festival, but there is usually a stage in front of the Moana Surfrider as well. And those block festivals are free of charge, of course, to go to. Lots of shopping, lots of vendors, lots of food. Um, it varies, again, not all the block festivals will have music stages, but some of the bigger ones will. And then over here on the right-hand side is the Aloha Collection Store, Lawson Street. So that's another, or sorry, Lawson Station. That's a really good spot to check out if you wanted to grab Dole Whip and you didn't want to drive up to the Dole Plantation. And then there's also San Lorenzo on the far right-hand side. That smaller hut building that you see over there is the Waikiki Police Station. And at the time of this filming, it's about 9.20 in the morning. So still pretty early. A lot of these shops don't open until I'd say closer to around 10 o'clock or so. It is so windy. <laughs> <laughs> and then inside of the Hyatt Regency, there's a gelato store and then a few other shops on the outside as well. And then coming up here on the right hand side across the street is the Duke statue. There's also a trolley stop where that trolley is right now. Um, the light blue trolley by that um, yellow fire hydrant. A lot of tours can pick up there as well as some of the main trolley lines. So if you see a pickup at Duke's, it's typically going to be Duke's statue, not Duke's Waikiki. Duke's Waikiki is the restaurant that, the, that is inside of the Outrigger Waikiki. There is a massive candy store here on the left-hand side. And then these two properties, or sorry, these two towers are still the Hyatt Regency property. Typically, if you booked a tour or activity and you're staying at a smaller hotel um, and you have a hotel pickup, if it doesn't pick up at your hotel, they'll usually route you to one of the closer hotels. Um, typically, it's gonna be major hotels like the Hyatt that have either a pull-in area for the tour buses or a place where they can uh, park for a little while to allow everybody to board. And then this is the intersection of Kalakaua Avenue and Ulu New Street. We have Billabong on the left. A few other clothing stores, Crazy Shirt. There's also Espacio, which is a luxury hotel. They're a suite only hotel. So there's only, I believe it's nine, nine or 10 suites. Each floor is a suite. And price point, I believe it's around three or 4,000 um, a night. We've got the ABC stores on the left, and then we've also got the Waikiki Circle Hotel and Eggs and Things. This is not the only location. There's also an Eggs and Things on Saratoga Road. Really good spot for breakfast, good hearty portions. Then coming up ahead here on the left, there's a McDonald's, and then this taller building um, on the other side of that is the Alohilani Resort. On the ground level, there's a few different restaurants. And that's also where Swell Bar is located, which is by their pool. Oh, bless you. <laughs> so 
So here they have Momo-san, which is really good for ramen. There's also Morimoto Asia. And again, they also have Swell Bar, which is um, where their pool is located. There's also a cafe on the outside. There's the ABC store, and then the cafe, as well as a Hagen Das. And then over on the right hand side is Queen's Arbor. They are part of Kai Coffee, which is the cafe that's on our left hand side. So, another good option. Coming up on the left hand side is Cheeseburger in Paradise. And a few other smaller shops. There's also OMG, which is Oahu Mexican Grill, one of my favorite places to grab lunch. When I used to work nearby here in Waikiki, that was my go to place. I'd probably go there three times a week. You would get these really good, hearty portions for, I think, like $15. And then coming up ahead here, just beyond that, is the Waikiki Beach Marriott property. We've done a walking tour of that property, and it's a long video, probably about 20 minutes of just walking throughout the Waikiki Beach Marriott property. It's huge. And then as you can see, it's pretty flat for the surf right now. A little bit overcast. And it started raining again. <laughs> We're just gonna keep going until it starts dumping. We brought an umbrella just in case so we can keep the gear safe. Oh no. <laughs> if you made it this far in the video, thanks for hanging out with us <laughs> on this narrated walking tour. So over here they have a Starbucks on this side. There's Aaron Chino's. They also have Queen's Break, um, Sansei's Steakhouse. There's a few other really good restaurant options here. If you are staying at the Marriott and you have a hotel pickup here, or excuse me, a activity pickup here at the hotel, keep in mind they have a few different entrances. So even if it says Marriott property, don't assume that it's one at this Marriott, Waikiki Beach Marriott, or that it's at the front entrance. Sometimes tours will pick up on the side entrance. Just make sure to double check on your ticket or you can also call the tour provider. And typically most vendors will not refund you because you're waiting at the wrong place. On the right hand side over here is the Beaky Station. Those turquoise bicycles, you could rent those from the kiosk or you can download their app. Coming up ahead here is the Twin Fin Hotel. They have a restaurant there called Tiki's on the second floor. There's also a car rental spot. Um, and then over here on the right part of the Waikiki Beach Marriott Hotel, we've got Island Vintage. Oh, they have boba tea here. That's exciting. If you've been following this channel for a while, you know I love Boba Tea. I did not realize they did. Might stop by. <laughs> we might stop. Actually, why don't we just stop right now? I'll just edit this part out. <laughs> that was a little bit more than I thought it was gonna be. It's $9.50 for this milk tea. But I had already committed, so here we are. It is jamming right now. So we had a bit of a pit stop. good but it was like $10 <laughs> all right let's finish the rest of the video actually it's kind of bitter mm. so coming up ahead here is the twin fin which has the tiki's oh what's going on Oh no. Well, hopefully that's just a drill. <laughs> okay, so over here is the Twin Fin Hotel. So Tiki's is the restaurant right above, and then on the ground level, you'll see a cafe, a couple gift outlets, and so forth. And then this street that's coming up ahead is the intersection of Kalakaua Avenue and Kapuhulu Avenue. And then directly in front of us is where the Honolulu Zoo is located. I have mixed feelings about this. <laughs> I really like matcha lattes, but this was made with oat milk and you know, could be sweeter, a little bit bitter. But I do like the boba though. 
So over here on the left is Lulu's. Another good restaurant for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. ABC store on the ground floor, and then Starbucks is also here on the left side. There's also Tucker and Bevy, which is a good spot if you want to grab some quick, like, grab-and-go sandwiches for picnic food. And then over here on the right-hand side, there's a small event that's going on, some volleyball. This is the Queen Capilani Regional Park, and then the zoo is located just right over there. All right, that will wrap up this section of the Nereid walking tour, and we'll head on to the next part of our walking tour. You can check out the link in the description box below for more walking tour videos. On this one-page planner, you have everything that you need where you can jot down your details for your hotel, rental car, tours and activities, things that you want to do, and a general itinerary.